Hi everyone, it's Tara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do another reading vlog. And this time, hindi ko alam kung ano yung sisimulan ko. Well, I have a few books in mind. Una is yung Daisy Jones and the Six kasi I think streaming na siya sa Amazon Prime. Then, yeah, gusto ko munang basahin yung libro bago ko siya panoorin. Hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung gusto kong basahin ngayon. But I'm thinking of something na light romance and easy to read since um, nakaka-stress tong um, month na to kasi yeah, starting na ng classes and I think we're on our third week or fourth week kasi um, I'm a third year college student and nasa second semester na kami ng um, school year and then meron na kaming mga research so gamit na gamit na yung utak ko sa pagbabasa ng mga research paper so I need something na parang palette cleanser lang kasi feel ko na information overload na ako and I want something na yung parang ikiligin ako and matatawa ganun so so yun pala yung nasa reading plans ko yung Daisy Jones and the Six um, ang dami kong gustong basahin pwede na mag pick up dito ng mga Wattpad books sa bookshelf ko since I also have a collection of Wattpad books. Mostly is mga um, works ni Joe Nax since fan, fan niya ako. This is something light read lang. Depende sa mood ko. So yeah. And yeah, I'm trying to read something in a physical book since lahat ng books na binabasa ko is in my tablet. Nasa digital copy lang siya kasi I can't afford books right now kasi sobrang expensive niya dito sa Philippines. And I haven't hauled any secondhand books yet kasi wala na akong bookshelf space. Like, it's a... Uh, yeah, kailangan ko munang ibenta yung mga books na hindi ko pinabasa dito bago ako makabili ng bagong books. So, yeah. So, sisimulan ko muna. Depende kung... Matuwa akong mabetan ko yung first few chapters ng Daisy Jones and the Sex. Depende. Bahal, bahala na. Bahala na kung saan patutung, patutung, kung anong patutunguan ng vlog na to. So, this would be a weekly reading vlog. Malay natin, baka i-pick up ko yung Twisted Lies since kakatapos ko lang kahapon ng Twisted Hate. So, baka... Baka piliin ko yung Twisted Lies. Pero depende. I'm not sure. So, subaybayan nyo na lang tong vlog na to. And, yeah. So, see you guys later. Hey guys, so today is Thursday and yesterday I haven't read a book kasi sobrang busy ko kahapon with the research paper, sa mga assignments, sa mga school activities. Like, sobrang gahol, nagahol ako sa oras. Like, every time I take a break, nakaka-guilty siya na nagpapahinga ako while marami pa akong mga task na kailangan gawin and tapusin and it's really frustrating for me as a student a working student good thing na 2 days lang yung pasok ko every week so the rest of the days are nakakapag-focus ako ng maayos sa school, sa mga dapat kong gawin sa school kasi 
I'm on my third year na and second semester na ng school year and yun nga sobrang nahihirap <laughs> di naman sa sobrang nahihirapan I feel just really burnt out sometimes and may urge ako na gusto kong magbasa ng libro to um alam mo yun yung makapag pahinga lang man yung utak ko though hindi siya really pahinga kasi nga parang napipilitan ako magbasa ng something and ayun nga Since ang dami kong research paper na binabasa para maging um, reference ng mga ng ginagawa naming research paper, minsan kailangan ko ng a good romance book. But I ended up picking The Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. And I heard it's a dark romance with a heavy topic. So, kini-question ko yung, yung sanity ko. Why did I pick that up? Like, nak- nakikita mo dun sa, um, sa, oh, yun, front page. Front page. Like, sa unang part, like, like, let me grab my, my tablet. Kasi sa tablet ako nagbabasa. I've downloaded an ebook of it. Kasi, na, ano siya yun, na-take down to eh. Kasi nga, dahil nga, heavy topics yung libro. So, for a while lang, ha. So, meron siyang, So, meron... Uy. This is what I hate. So, meron siyang warning dyan. Oh my God. Yan. So, meron siyang warning dyan. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Ayan. Meron siyang warning dyan. So, it says like, This book ends on a cliffhanger. The contents are very dark with triggering situations such as CNC, violence, human trafficking, and disturbing situations. This book was previously taken down due to the warning. Please find them in reviews or feel free to message me directly. So, it's a good thing for authors to write warning on the first Um, first page or um, more front page of the of the books na may gantong um, themes. Hmm, matagal na to sa ano, napapadaan sa sa ano ko, sa book talk ko and I haven't have the courage, courage to pick it up. So yeah, ngayon naiintriga ako why some people are actually reading this lalo na nakita ko siya sa Goodreads ang taas nung rating niya kasi mas marami yung 5 stars like wait let me check on Goodreads so sa Goodreads meron siyang average rating na 4.09 stars Stars. So, dun sa description niya, so we're following the characters Adeline, Adeline or Adeline, Adeline, and Zadie. I don't know if it's pronounced Zadie or Zaid. Parang kung si Guy is talker siya ni girl. So, si girl is si Adeline or Adeline is writer siya. Writer siya, then pinamana sa kanya yung parang gothic house ng lola niya. And then, itong lalaking to is ini-stock niya yung ba eh, like like yung first chapter pa lang nababasa ko is nakikirupihan na ako at the same time na intriga ako ano yung mangyayari sa mga susunod kasi like I want it's kind of weird and interesting but depende kung kakayanin ko malalaman kung matatapos ko siya or ano. Kasi, I know how my mind works and medyo daring siya sa mga gantong scenes. Kasi, I've read um, psychological thrillers before and may times na nandidira ako. Pero, nakakatapos ako ng libro. Yeah. So, but who knows? Malalaman. So, yeah. Ngayon, balik lang ako sa trabaho ko. Actually, I'm just taking a break kasi, you know, inaantok kasi ka talaga ako ng mga gantong oras ng siesta time, ganun. So, yeah. And update pala sa mga school works ko. Ayun, ina-anxiety ako kasi wala na akong ginagawa kasi na-turn in ko na lahat, ganun. And 
parang nakaka-guilty na wala akong ginagawa sa mga na uh, school related like oh my god may sira na ata ako sa ulo so yeah so whatever so tama na yung chikahan so i'm gonna catch you up guys later and give you a reading update kung magkakaroon man ng reading update but hopefully sana sana makapagbasa na ako I don't know about this, but I think I need therapy. Like, oh my god. I don't know what I just read, but it was sick. I can never. I can never. This is sick. This is really, really sick. Hey guys, so we're now at the airport on the way to Taylor Swift concert. The rescuer. Oh my god! Siyempre, charot lang yon. Wala kaming pera. Nagatid lang kami sa mama ko. Uh, someday. Someday! So, I'm with my family. Hi, family! <laughs> Big summer blowout. Hello! Hello! Ma'am, 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 ano po yung ginagawa niyo, ma'am? Bakit po kayo? Ma'am, 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 Uh, where exactly in Manila? Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog. Our? <laughs> our vlog. Now that she has viewers, it is our vlog. <laughs> it used to be just her, but now I'm here. You don't have to feel lonely ever again. <laughs> Look, who's this sad fella over here? Nobody knows her. Nobody knows her. Nobody knows her. Nobody cares. She's literally like, I don't even know. <laughs> She's an NPC. <laughs> She's a non-playable character. She takes pictures of beautiful places, but I'm not gonna be that. I'm just about anything to get you started. Oh my gosh, it's so nice here. Let me take a picture. <laughs> How are y'all today? If you're sad, I just want to tell you that it 
doesn't get any much better. Don't <laughs> Don't <laughs> go <laughs> and <laughs> Live with it. But don't die, right? Dying is easy, living is harder. Yeah. So so yeah, I just choose just easy. die. Your choice though. <laughs> just die. No. I want you to fight for me. Puro nonsense, but yeah, nilayu mo na sa akin yun. Strawberry. Man. Tate. Oh, nga. Kasi kapag seeds. Oh. No, Ay, kapag seeds. Ito. Hey guys, so I'm reading the last two chapters of Hunting Adeline and so I'm gonna film what would be my reaction while reading the last two chapters of this book. So yeah, let's go.
Hey guys, so I'm back and I finished reading Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton and as you can see on my reaction earlier, it doesn't end well with the story though I have been warned that it was a cliffhanger but I didn't expect Naganun siya ka cliffhanger like oh my god so bibigyan ko kayo ano yung summary nitong ang um, story na to and why it seems popular sa book talk as one of the famous 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 dark romance na na introduce sa book talk sa book talk ko lang din to nakita eh and maraming nagsasabi na it's a stalker romance, so I think isang taon na bago ko siya binasa. So, matagal ko siyang pinag-isipan kung babasahin ko siya kasi nakikita ko rin siya across sa uh, Goodreads feed ko na may mga, um, tawag yan, may mga reviews or yung mga progresses na may mga comments doon. So, Na-intriga din ako. So, ngayon, I finally pick up the courage to pick up this book. So, yeah. So, yung story niya, it's about si Adeline. Isa siyang writer. So, yeah. A writer that writes books. So, nagpa-publish siya ng mga libro niya. And then, the guy here is her stalker. So, yung stalker niya na to, it's not the type of stalker na talagang papatayin ka or something. He's the kind of stalker na IT. IT. So, he's a computer guy. And he used his hacking skills to track some criminals. Not exactly criminals, but wealthy people who do bad things like human trafficking, sex trafficking, or prostitution, ganon. But mostly, nang tinatarget niya is yung mga human trafficking. So, most yung tinatarget nila is kids and um, women. Kasi sila yung um, mahi, mahina. I mean, natin na in this world, pagdating sa self-defense, walang kalaban-laban talaga yung bata at yung mga babae. So, yun yung mga tinatarget na yung mga nagte-take advantage sa mga walang kamuwang-muwang na tao. So, at least, it's a at least. So, my experience while I was reading this is that I feel disgusted kasi though I have been warm in the beginning of this book kasi meron siyang major trigger warnings like lahat ng content ng book na ito sinabi niya kung ano yung mga trigger warnings niya it includes um violence um graphic um sexual content human sex trafficking prostitution may um sexual assault pa lahat ng um trigger warnings na maiisip niyo nandito siya so, you have a choice to continue reading or not. Pero ako, dahil matigas yung mukha ko. And, yeah, and my curiosity, binasa ko pa rin siya. And, karabe. It's kind of, it's a suspense thriller. Dark suspense mystery dark romance thriller mystery kasi si Adeline dito tina try niya to solve yung murder case ng great grandmother niya si Gigi kasi um yung great grandmother niya meron ding stalker before and and gusto niya ma-figure out kung sino yung pumatay dun sa great grandmother niya na yon kasi it was never solved kung sino talaga yung totoong pumatay. Some says, some said na ang pumatay sa kanya is yung asawa niya. Pero hindi contented si Adeline dun sa sagot na yun. And yung ending ng book na to, oh my god. Like, I have a hint nung malapit nung matapos yung libro. 
But then, tumama yung hint ko kasi mahadero siya eh. <laughs> mahadero siya. So, yeah. Hindi naman sa mahadero. Parang grabe lang yung concern niya. Like, come on. And then, as for the stalker, which is si Zaid, um, I think I need therapy. Kasi, I think I'm not in the right mind to romanticize someone like him. Though, hindi naman overly romanticized, but, yeah, he does some things na very, very red flag. So, that makes him a very deranged man. But, may mga lines na I find him funny. May mga lines na he can be scary. And, I don't know if it's right to love him or not. Siguro kailangan namin ni Adeline magpa-therapy. <laughs> so, si Adeline, um, kailangan niya talaga ng therapy. Yeah. Parang nakadevelop siya ng, hindi siya parang, nakadevelop talaga siya ng Stockholm Syndrome. So, yeah, after all the bad things, not really bad things, yung mga ginawa sa kanya ni Zaid, I just can't freaking imagine na hindi siya na trauma doon. I think na trauma siya, but at the same time, nakadevelop nga siya ng Stockholm Syndrome. And, um, yeah, we both need therapy. But, as for the writing, it was, it was good. Hindi ako magaling mag, uh, mag, mag-assess ng writing styles. Pero, I enjoyed the story. I love the thrill na na-experience ko. Yung suspense. Like, I feel na gawa ganun. Na iniitan ako ganun. Yung, yung anxiety na nang nananasan ko. It was a good reading experience. I love the dual POVs na nangyari. And, oh my god, it was mind-blowing mind-blowing so yeah so i'm off to reading hunting adeline the book two hunt first is haunting the next one is hunting so parang hanapin niya na si adeline grabe yung cliffhanger dito like i didn't expect it and gusto ko malaman kung ano nangyayari kay zade sa um, operation ligtas nila sa mga bata ganun and sino ang traidor sa organization ni Zane. Kasi parang may tumay door talaga sa kanila eh. And hindi na mention kung sino yung tumay door. Like, it was alam mo yun sa movies na nandun na sila sa scene na um, nagre-raid na sila. And then, meron scene na nagsusumbong na sa'yo na may sumabutahin ng plano nila. And then, there is someone in the organization na, I think, pinagkatiwalaan mo na yun pala yung salay. Parang ganun, but the camera doesn't show kung sino yung taong yun. Like, ganun yung scenario. Do you get my point? Nabivision nyo ba? Kung ano yung gusto kong iparating. Basta ganun. So, yeah, I'm freaking intrigued. But now, I have to end this vlog here. So, because right now I have to take a bath and pack my things because I'm going to BGC to continue my research paper. And by the way, habol ko na. Kasi nabasa ko rin yung prequel nitong book na to. It's a novella. Actually, it's called um this book. Yeah, I don't wanna mention the title because mentioning the name holds a power. I don't know. Post lang ni Harry Potter yun. Pero, but I don't wanna mention this. So, I'm gonna flash it on my screen. Hindi naman siya um, required na basahin. But, it's highly recommended to read this um, story first before starting haunting Adeline. So, this is just a quick read because it's just a novella. I think it's just a hundred pages. Kayang-kaya siyang basahin within the day. So, 
it just parang nagbibigay lang siya ng konting hint about this particular um, character na eventually na mention din sa Hunting Adeline. Kasi meron siyang scene dito sa Hunting Adeline na nandun sa novela na yon. Yung character na nandun sa, sa book na ito is she's interesting. Yeah. So you have a hint na she is a she. She's interesting kasi meron siyang mental disorder that leads kung ano yung ginagawa niya doon sa na nag kung ano yung ginagawa niya doon sa novela na ito. So, I find her interesting and I want to see her and I wish to see her or read her sa book 2 ng Haunting Adeline. For the stars, so I'm gonna rate this book, I think, sa lahat ng experience na nangyari. I think I'm gonna rate this a 5 out of 5 stars kasi I think the thrill and the thrill that I experienced in this book very thick or not very thick or not so yeah and i think this book is not for everyone na may na sobrang sensitive kasi sobrang heavy ng um topic niya and talagang seryosohin niyo yung trigger warnings sa beginning ng book na ito it's taken down for a, it has been taken down for a reason so, you have been warned by the author in the beginning of this book, and it's your choice if you're gonna continue reading it or not. So, I understand people who DNF'd it, and I understand the people who enjoyed it. So, kanya-kanya na tayong trip. Kung hindi mo masikmura yung mga gantong type of stories, then don't read it. You don't have to put a shade on the author. So, if this book is not your cup of tea, then don't read it. Okay? Don't ruin yung fun ng ibang tao kung bakit nila may nahal tong book na to. We have your own opinion. We have our we have mine. So, it's not an argument. So, that's all. Ang dami ko nang sinasabi. I don't know. Kung tama ba yung sinasabi ko? So, yeah. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if not, edi wag. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share hit like and share this video na nakalimutan ko na ako paano mag outro so, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more updates and more upcoming videos so see you on my next vlog so if you have book re recommendations just feel free to comment it on the comment section and I'm looking forward to read, um, to do some more reading vlogs because uh, it's something that I enjoy to share what I think about the books that I just read. Ganon. So, I'm very thankful na I get to do something that I love after all the, um, if matagal ka na dito sa channel ko, is that I've been trying different um, approach kung ano, kung paano ako gagawin ang pag-vlogging. So, I tried um, lifestyle videos, I tried makeup, I tried cooking, I tried traveling. But most of the content that I made is vlogging my reading vlog. And you'll know that it is something that I enjoy. So, yeah. And I'm finally glad that nag-grow ako and learn something about myself. So, yeah. So, ang dami ko nang sinabi, mag-goodbye lang ako. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. See you on my next vlog. Have a great day and bye!